I'm a big win for you, Arnold. Give us the emotion having to get it done on home soil and doing it in front of all those fans at the ATM. Yeah, it's, uh, it's always amazing fighting in front of the London crown, especially being like an hour down the road. You know, it's, uh, it's a nice feeling. It is definitely a good feeling. Some of the previous fights you've had, you've had to come through a fair bit of adversity and mm. come back and get the win. This one seemed a lot more, a lot more under control by comparison. Did it feel like that way in there? Yeah, like uh, I've always known, I have got the capability to have a nice clean fight against good level guys. I think I just get a little bit excited and I start throwing my shots a little bit too, you know, too hard. I plant my feet, I get taken down. Next thing you know, 14 minutes later, I'm trying to pull out a ninja choke. So, <laughs> yeah, it's nice to not have to go into that well. With that in mind, would you rate that as your, your best all-round performance in the octagon so far in your career? Uh, I have to watch it back, but I, yeah, I don't know. I didn't get taken down, but I, I was happy with that. Yeah. Um, you're now 5-0 in the UFC. Um, do you want to maybe, I mean, what, what do you want next? Do you, are you maybe starting to think about getting some ranked opponents? Yeah, I mean, it's been on the goal list for the last three years and shit keeps coming up, like getting injured and delayed and whatnot. And the, yeah, I, my goal this year is to not have one fight and not be back, well, maybe be back next year when it's in London, but ideally before that. So. Any time before next year, London, I'll be happy. As long as it's 2019. <laughs> you got that knockdown towards the end of the second round, I believe it was. I think so, yeah. And, uh, I mean, do you feel like if there was 10 seconds left on that clock, do you feel like you would have got the win? Or how long would you think you would have Yeah, I, I think I would have got the finish there. I, I, thought, I thought I got the finish. And uh, I looked like when he went back to his corner, I, he would give me the nod to sort of let me know it was okay. So I was like, yeah, man, whatever. I was unsure whether he'd come back out. But yeah, maybe he was less hurt than I thought. So he's a tough guy. No, I don't even think at this rate, to be honest with you. I know it's not going to excel my career not calling anyone out, but uh, I guess stay true to myself. It's not me, so I, I'm not going to do it. Maybe one day I'll be in that position. I, I will be in that position one day to, to call for top fives and, and title fights, but I'm, I'm not in that position right now, so it makes no sense for me to start shouting names out. Fair to say you're looking at someone from sort of 15 to 10? Yeah, like I want to get, I want to get, that's my goal this year. I want to get around that spot, you know, whatever Faraz and Jack say. The, and, my dad, whatever my dad says, because he's part of the corner team now, so... Uh, Boring. <laughs> whatever they say uh, is what we'll do. And when would you like to get back in there? Uh, you know, August would be nice after that. As long as it's not, as long as it's this year, it'll be, you know, double the fights for the last four years, two in a year would be pretty, uh, pretty nice feeling, so, yeah, hopefully that. You've got the ice, ice pack on your foot there. How, yeah. how bad? How bad is it? I don't know. It just, I don't think it's that bad. The adrenaline hasn't really worn off yet. It's just a bit of swelling. I, was, uh, I did it to myself when he was laying on the floor. I was like kicking his knees and I hurt myself. <laughs> and in terms of, obviously, you love competing here mm. in the UK. Yeah. You train over in, in Canada. Is, yeah. is, is that somewhere that you'd like to get back out and, yeah, and compete for sure. maybe over there? Yeah, I, I'd love to, but uh, you know, May's a bit soon for me. I'm, uh, I'm staying home until I think the day of that fight so uh yeah maybe i'll come back sooner but uh the plan was i keep going on about it the dog's in a bad way i want to stay here until he's and i dig his hole put him in the hole and then, then i'll go back because i'd be really sad if i was away when he dies i mean i'd be upset yeah. Did your dad get nervous uh, when you get that post point interview after last one <laughs> you ahead of that don't be saying anything this time around oh uh, dad did you hear that yeah he said he's got a fight pass I don't think he's listening. <laughs> um, I, you know, we joke about it all the time. But he, he gives me the most stick, so, uh, yeah. It's just I have a bigger audience when I fight and, you know, I can get him good. But you should hear some of the shit he says. He's talking about doing things to my mom. I don't even want to go into it. So, yeah, uh, we don't need to go there. How much of a support is he, though, all joking aside, having, having your yeah. dad in your corner? Not yeah. every fighter has that. Yeah, like, uh, I don't want to make him boo, but... That's my hero, really. Like growing up, I aspired to be like him, and uh, I wanted to be a big, strong ginger baldy. But I wasn't ginger, so I had to go into fighting, and uh, it's going all right so far. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Who let the heck was in it? Congratulations! Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.